Hi, my name is Patrick Jamison, and in this video, we're going to install the sliding glass door mainframe. We're going to set the panels, add the handles, and adjust the keepers. After dry fitting your mainframe, ensure you have a continuous bead of sealant around the entire perimeter of your opening. Using your hammer drill and a masonry bit, pre-drill the block, and then secure your frame with the masonry fasteners. Be sure to use the appropriate shims for full support at every fastener. I'm going to secure my masonry fastener to the mainframe. At the bottom of your mainframe track, pre-drill the concrete through these pre-drilled holes, vacuum out the concrete dust, fill each hole with your appropriate sealant, run your fasteners through the tube of sealant, and then run your fasteners down in that hole. After inspection, cap off the top of your heads with more sealant. In order to check for pitch, you're going to snap on your track inserts into both channels of your track, set your torpedo level on top, and it should be level. Before snapping down your sill riser adapter, apply a continuous bead of sealant on your track. Our bead of sealant is applied. Now we can snap down our sill riser adapter. Once the sill riser is snapped on, apply a bead of sealant on the end dams. Now it's time to snap down our track inserts. Before snapping your fastener covers into the jam, you need to know your stack configuration for your keeper to go into. This is a standard stack configuration, which means this keeper is going to go on the right side of this jam. You'll notice that there's four punch marks that need to be pre-drilled before you can fasten the keeper into the jam. Inside the bag of parts, you're going to see a little baggie. These are the screws for the keeper. We are now going to secure the keeper to the jam. Inside the parts box, I've now located my keeper and the keeper shim. The keeper shim will go in first, and then the keeper will go on top of it. There's our keeper, our shim. We'll put our stainless steel fastener through it. There's that. Here's the fastener cover for the jam. I'm going to work my way from the top to the bottom. Here's the other fastener cover for the jam. I'm going to have to cut this in half so one piece fits above the keeper and one piece fits below the keeper. We've cut the top part of our fastener cover. Now we're going to snap it into the jam. Here's the bottom half of the fastener cover that's going to get snapped underneath the keeper. Now we're going to duplicate the left jam like we did with the right jam, which includes pre-drilling the jam, fastening our keeper, and adding our covers. Now it's time to install the fastener cover for the head of the mainframe. Here is your standard screen rail, which can also be used as a finishing rail. This side of the rail is going to lock into the bottom of your track. There's the part of the rail that's going to fit into this channel. Here are the two sliding glass door panels. They're both labeled. This one's panel one, this one's panel two. The configuration on this stack is a standard stack. We will install panel one first, and then we will install panel two. 
Now we will unpackage the panels. When you receive the sign glass door panels, they're gonna be shipped where the rollers are on top of the panels. You're gonna to have to turn these around so the rollers are on the bottom. At the bottom of your sign glass door panel, you're gonna have two roller adjustment holes. These holes must face the exterior. In order to set your panels into the mainframe, you must set the head of the panel first and then swing the bottom of the panel in and set it on the track. Now we're on to the second panel. We're gonna unpackage it, flip it around, and get ready to insert into the mainframe. Before adjusting the rollers, make sure you take the weight off the panel. Using your number three screwdriver, you can now adjust the roller. You are now gonna apply the same technique to the second panel. Now it's time to install our handles. Inside of your raised handle package will be a small package with the assembly screws and the latch. Before installing your raised handle, apply the cork spacer on each screw boss of the raised handle. Here's our raised handle. Then our latch. See if we can do it without looking. To check the function of your lock, you must press this anti-slam pin in, and now you can flip your latch. Now we're gonna follow the same steps on the second panel. Once installation is complete, apply a continuous bead of sealant to the outer perimeter of the mainframe. So to recap, in this video, we installed our sliding glass door mainframe. We set the panels, we added the handles, and adjusted keepers as needed. In the next video, we'll make the final adjustments to the door.